What's up guys, I'm Tech Steve, making technology easier for you. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Samsung Bud Plus. Now a few weeks ago, Samsung had this announcement at their unpacking, and here is the results, and it's here live for the public. The biggest improvement that most people are claiming is that it has 11 hours of battery life. So I started using them this morning, and I must tell you, they did last a whole day without needing a charge. So if you wanna learn more about these earbuds, sit back, relax, and let's get started. So let me give you a quick backstory. Back when the Galaxy S7 came out, they really had the terrible headphones. These were like plastic, low quality headphones, while other companies were starting to use more advanced headphones like HTC, started using Beats and things like that. Now, when the Galaxy S8 came out, that's the first time we saw signs of AKG, which is the same manufacturer who builds these. Now, AKG is one of those manufacturers that's been around since 1947, building headphones and all type of equipment. In fact, they are used in Cadillacs. Now let's talk a little bit about these earbuds. So here's everything that you get in the box. And it's very important that you take one of these earrings and earpiece and customize it to your ear so you get the best sound quality. You also get the USB-C connections, your portable charger, and the earphones. Now these earphones are available in four different colors. You have black, white, red, cloud blue, and Samsung makes this wireless charger here. It's around $55 and it allows you to charge your phone and the earbuds wirelessly. So when it comes to this case, you can plug in the USB-C on the back and it also supports most wireless chargers just by putting it on here, it'll start charging automatically. It'll fit in your pocket very nicely. And when you open it up, there's an indicator that lets you know what the status is of the charge of the earphones and there's a left and right marker. Also, when you close it, there's an indicator on the front to let you know the status as well. Another thing I know you guys will like, if you're using these at the gym and the earbuds are completely depleted, all you need to do is stick them in this case for three minutes and you can get one more hour of juice. So then you can just charge it later on when you get back home or just put it in the case when you're done with your workout. Now, when it comes to the earbuds, you'll notice they're clearly marked left and right. And you will put that in a slot that's available for it. And it has metal contacts here on the bottom for charging. Now they're not completely waterproof, but they are IPX2 splash resistant. So when you're working out or get them wet, there's no problem. Just don't submerge them in water. Also, when you take a look at the earphones, you can see there's a sensor here, and this will pause and play your music when you take them in and out of your ears. There's also a microphone right there in the center. And then on the back here, there's a microphone there and another one right there as well. So you have total three microphones. And with all three of those microphones working together, it gives you better ambient sound. So if you're in traffic or an airport where it's noisy, those are gonna help eliminate the background. Now they are compatible with your Apple devices as well as the Samsung devices or any Android. But if you have the SmartThings application installed on your phone with Android 7.1 or higher, this is gonna allow you to get all the full features. You're gonna get your equalizer as well as the battery indicators to let you know where the battery life is. Now connecting them to devices is very easy, including Apple, but let me show you what they look like next to the AirPod Pros and the AirPods. With the iPhone Pro here, I'm gonna show you how to connect them to it and how to change tracks and control Siri. Make sure your buds have at least 10% charged and then just open them up with your phone in Bluetooth mode. As Soon as you open them up, they will find a device and just press on it. And now they're connected. And Samsung also designed a new Buds Plus application for iPhones, which is pretty cool. Now, the way these are designed, the earpiece just goes on the bottom and stick them in your ear, and they fit perfectly, just like that. In order to trigger Siri or any other voice command, just press and hold down the side for about three seconds. What's the weather like today? Open up music app. Next, I'm going to show you how to change track just by tapping on the earbud. First, find an album or playlist that you want to listen to and go ahead and hit play. Now, to go to the next track, all you need to do is tap twice real fast. And to go back to the previous track, just tap on it three times. Now, let's grab a Samsung device and see all the full features that the earbuds can deliver for you. The phone I'm gonna be using today is the Samsung A60. It's not a S series, but it's pretty good for just someone looking for a basic phone. But let me show you how to connect it. Now here's where smart things come in. 
You can connect it through Bluetooth or use the Wear app, but as soon as you open them up, normally the phone would find them, but it doesn't. So let's go to the App Store and download the Smart Things. Just go to the Play Store, look for Smart Things, and download it. Once it's installed, go ahead and press Open. Agree to the terms and conditions, and then press Start. Watch what happens when I open up the case now. You can see it found them automatically. All you need to do now is just press Connect. Allow some permissions, and then it starts installing all the software to get it ready to go. This is custom software, so the buds work with the Samsung devices very seamlessly. And once you get to the screen, go ahead and press Agree. Press Next, and it'll go through all the rest of your steps. So let's take a deeper dive into this application so you can see everything you need to do and what you can control and what you can't. And the cool thing about this is downloading the latest software so your Galaxy Buds is gonna have the newest and greatest out there. And it comes up with a list of instructions of how to control them much, much better. Now the first thing you'll know is it has ambient sound and when you turn this on, what it does is it uses those three microphones that I told you earlier to create these different environments to get rid of that background noise. Next you have equalizer, you have bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, treble boost. And then you have all kinds of features down here like notifications. And this allows the earbuds to read out loud anything that comes to your phone. So when you toggle it on, depends on what applications you have, you'll have a list of different ones that can control that. And next you have touchpad, and when you click on this, you can give each earbud its own custom settings. And the interesting thing is that it has Spotify built in, so if you don't have Spotify, that could be a useless control. Next you have Advanced, and under this, you can turn on the ambient sound throughout phone calls, so it automatically detects noise around you. And you also have Find My Earbuds, so if I take these out of the case, and press on Find My Earbuds, press Start, And this allows you to find them like if they're on the couch, in your car, or anywhere that you can actually hear them. Sounds like a little bird. And then at the bottom here, you have software updates, and you also have labs. And it gives you other features like double tap the earbud edges, extra high ambience volume, and gaming mode. Now I'm going to take a listen to them, see what they sound like. So far, they have a really crisp sound, but they miss some bass. You know what? Let me let you hear them without any type of audio edits. Let's go. Now it's time to do a microphone test to see how good it sounds. Hello? 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 Okay, let's walk okay. into another room so I can get back So now this is a microphone test on how clear they sound. I used them earlier with some friends and they sound pretty good. So here's what the microphone sounds like. And uh, I'm going to put on some background traffic noise just to see if it bounces out pretty good. Okay, I'm right by the speaker is the background noise. Back to the phone, I was so let's walk back into the room to see if we can do it. Again. Works pretty good. Works pretty good.
Another thing I'll tell you about these earbuds is that there's no way to hard reset these. There's no pinhole so you can just put a paper clip in and reset it. But what they do is they rely on the software to reset it. So if you have it connected to another device, all you need to do is just remove it off your Bluetooth list. But let me show you if you have a Samsung device how you reset these. So when you buy a Samsung device, it has an application called Galaxy Wearables. If you press on it, then you can see all the controls that I showed you earlier. If you slide down and go to About Earbuds, here's where you can reset them. And then just hit Reset Earbuds and Reset. In my opinion, I think they should put a hard reset on these earbuds just in case something locks up. Like for example, if you, one of your earpieces stopped working, you have to factory reset it, start it over, and reconnect it to your device. I can find that a little troublesome. The last thing we're going to test on this video is if you don't own a Samsung device, can you access all the applications just like you can on Samsung? For this demonstration, I'm going to use this Pixel 3 XL. So let's check it out. So you can see I have the SmartThings application and the wearable application installed. Let's open these up and see what happens. I didn't get the same pop-up as you do on Samsung, but let's go and open up the application and see if you have any of the EQ settings or anything else. Now, since it's not a Samsung device, you have to choose something like the Galaxy Buds, Allow, Allow again, and now it's pairing, it found a device. Okay, now I need to allow all the history. And now they're pairing. Now it did pop up that you need another Galaxy Bud plugin. Now let's go back to the install. A few more allow buttons. And then agree. So it's now it's connecting to the earbuds. And what do you know, you have all the controls at Samsung. So it's very cool that Samsung's gave other Android device users access to all the controls. So that's gonna allow you to get the full functionalities and I'm excited that Samsung and Apple are now working together to make this happen on iPhones. So I know you guys are gonna ask me, are these worth buying? I think for the right user, they're gonna work fine. If you're an Apple user, I'll probably stick to the Apple ecosystems like the AirPods, but if you're an Android user, I think you'll really enjoy these. Only thing that I didn't like about them is they didn't have that really tight bass response that I like, but overall it was very clean, very functional, the battery lasts a long time. So I'm Tech Steve, Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.